Hey everybody, welcome to the course. So this is going to be the first of many video walkthroughs and for this one we're not going to be doing any code, uh, mainly just going to be if you got here then you're in great shape. So welcome to the course. You'll notice a couple of things. This is going to say free prep test up here. You don't want to worry about that. Mainly that's just a staging area for me to put together these courses. Uh, yours is likely going to say software engineering basic prep or possibly software engineering mentored prep or possibly something else. But the core of what's going on here isn't really going to change, so let's go ahead and get to it. So it says this prep course is going to guide you from your current JavaScript skill level, and it's going to get you to help. Uh, it's going to help you pass the technical interview. Now, because of that, there's two things you're going to want to do. You're going to want to sign up for Slack. If you click this link, you can sign up there, or you can sign up down here. Slack is a messaging app, and it's very useful. And uh, you're going to find that interacting with people on Slack and staying active in that community can be very useful, just to sort of continually expose yourself to new things. Uh, the next thing is you're going to take the placement challenge. And the placement challenge is essentially why we can say this course is designed for everybody. Uh, if you are a complete beginner, you might just want to skip that, but you also might want to have a look at it just to see what's coming up. But if you have a little bit of JavaScript experience or a lot, that should help you decide where in the course to get started, or if you should just go and jump into a technical interview. So I'm going to go ahead and click take the placement challenge. And then we're going to go back. And the only reason we're going to go back is because I want to identify one quick thing. You can either click on this link or you can go to the bottom here. And next, where it says down here, that's going to be the next lesson for each part of the course. So if you want to move linearly, you can do that. Or you can just hit take the placement challenge. But I would advise that you sign up for Slack first. So if I click over here on the placement challenge, it says start a timer that will last for two hours. If you're not sure how to do that, timer for two hours will have you nicely set up. Go ahead and start that. Actually, it starts itself, which is nice. And then go ahead and walk through these problems. Try to complete them, as many of them as you can. There are a lot of them, and they're going to range from rather simple to slightly more complex and almost modeling our actual technical interview difficulty. And the idea is when you get to the end of that and the timer goes off, you're going to come all the way down here and follow these instructions. So if I completed none to some of the basics, then I'm going to go ahead and start at the beginning of module zero, which is essentially just the next lesson. If I did all of the basics, all of the intermediate questions, and some to all of the advanced questions, then I can either go towards the end of the course or sign up for a technical interview. That's pretty much it for this video walkthrough, but there's one other thing I want to draw your attention to, and it's in the top left-hand corner. There are these, uh, it's like a square of nine squares. If we go ahead and click that, you're going to see the overall curriculum view. So this says free prep test, but don't worry about that. Yours is going to say something like um, software engineering basic prep or software engineering mentored prep. And 89%, don't worry about that because I've done a lot of walkthroughs and this is kind of at the end of the walkthrough phase. So none of that is something you really need to worry about. But this is where you can view the entire course at a whole. So if it says go to module one or go to module zero or a specific section, you can go ahead and use that um, that uh, nine squares in a square bottom button at the top left hand corner of the interface and it'll take you to the overall view. And here's where you can see the various modules in this course. Um, it might look different. We change the course rapid rather often just to make sure that it's kind of up to date. But um, right now this is the current version of the course. So module zero is kind of going to introduce you to everything in JavaScript. Module one is going to get you to practice that over and over and over and over again. And you'll find out what I mean by that when you get to module one. There's like 152 problems there. Um, very, very useful for getting yourself tuned up on speed and uh, precision and building muscle memory, as it were. Writing code well is where we start introducing the idea of testing and start talking about how to write your code, not just so that it works, but so that it kind of tells at least a somewhat of a story to you. And uh, by you, we mean you, you know, six months after you write the code and to other people you might be working with. And the culmination in fashion inventory is about as difficult as things are going to get for the interview. Live performance is a collection where we kind of take a little bit of a left turn and start talking about ways that you could actually approach the interview in a structured fashion. And then a bunch of exercises that are probably a little more difficult than the interview itself, but they are useful in terms of if the interview is a performance, practicing that performance is a good idea. Now this module is kind of under construction right now, but the idea for this one is going to be uh, some video walkthroughs of how to kind of practice for the technical interview, some basic data modeling that we might kind of go over, and then also a video walkthrough of actually signing up for the interview. So with all of that, I'm going to go ahead and return to the Welcome to Galvanize. And we're going to go back to the Welcome to the Course, just so this is nice, and uh, this is where this video is going to show up. You're going to see a lot of these videos. 
the more of a beginner you are or the less you understand things, the more I would advise that you watch the videos. They're going to be designed to sort of show you what somebody who is a little bit more advanced than you would do in these scenarios, and they can be very useful. So thanks for watching. Thanks for signing up for the course. Hope you're enjoying yourself so far, and we'll see you in the next video.